A Wabash Valley school system turned some high-tech gadgets into teaching tools. With some special funding, the Red Hill school system is putting more than 100 iPod touches into the hands of its littlest learners. In tonight's Education Watch 10, News 10's Mike Grant reports the technology is proving to be a hit with both adults and kids. At first glance, this looks like a typical kindergarten room where kids learn things like numbers and colors, shapes and letters. But look more closely and you're in for a surprise. These kids are learning using games and teaching applications on iPod Touches. Students today um, live in the 21st century and we need to get that technology into the classrooms to better benefit the students and get them more focused on what they're doing. Pam Cummings spent 27 years teaching kindergarten. Education by iPod was not something she learned in college, but she's catching on. Learning right along with the children, but it's fun. These devices are loaded with educational software. The kids work on all kinds of things. For some, it's shapes. For others, patterns. There's even letter recognition to develop pre-reading skills. Sitting on the carpet with the teacher talking about it is not near as much fun as playing with those. It's not, you know. The school system spent about $260 on each iPod and has about 50 of them in the classrooms. It wasn't cheap but it's a huge benefit for the students and it's, I think it's money well spent. These devices may well be classroom tested now, but are they kid approved? I like them. They're really fun. Which means these little learners are becoming better with technology and getting enhanced kindergarten lessons and it's all disguised as a good time. In Bridgeport, Illinois, I'm Mike Grant, News 10. Now, besides the iPod Touch, the school system also purchased some iPads that are used in special education classes.